In this video, I'm reviewing the ResoundLink's Quattro hearing aid. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to also hit the bell because that will give you a notification the next time I release a new video. The release of the new ResoundLynx Quattro hearing aid is probably one of the most anticipated launches that we have seen in the hearing aid industry in a number of years. And this is because the Quattro, with the help of Google, is supposed to be the first hearing aid that lets you connect directly to an Android phone to stream audio into both of your hearing aids. Yeah, that's right. No longer do you need an iPhone to stream audio into both of your ears. And that isn't the only thing that Resound has improved upon in their new hearing aids. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features. And the first feature I want to talk about is lithium rechargeability. I'm a huge fan of lithium rechargeable hearing aids because they are extremely reliable. And with the Resound Quattro devices, you actually get 30 hours of battery life if you don't do any streaming, and you get 24 hours of battery life if you spend half of that time streaming that audio into your hearing aids, which is absolutely phenomenal when you look at what the power requirements are to be able to do streaming. The charger case is pretty small. It stores up to three charges inside of the actual case, so you don't actually have to have it plugged into the wall. If you're gonna go on a trip somewhere, you can unplug it, take it with you, no cord needed. You get three full charges inside of your devices and those devices charge really quickly. So one minute spent in the charger actually gets you 15 minutes of battery life. The best thing though about the charger case is that the hearing aids are very easy to remove. So if you're someone who has finger dexterity issues or you don't have a lot of strength in your hands, you don't have to pry these hearing aids outside of the case. On top of that, when you pull them out, they actually turn on. So you don't actually have to worry about clicking a button or holding a button down in order to turn the devices on. You pull them out of the case, you put them on your ear, and you're ready to go. The second great thing about the Quattro hearing aids is that they have an increased input dynamic range. Input dynamic range is extremely important for hearing better in background noise situations. So you want the highest input dynamic range that you can get. If this is too low, then the hearing aids are forced to do things called peak clipping and input compression. Both of these things can cause distortion in the signal, which can destroy your ability to hear better in a background noise situation. Now the microphones that these Quattro hearing devices use have a maximum capability of 116 decibels. And Resound has got every last decibel out of those microphones that they possibly can. So they are maxing out at 116 dB of input dynamic range, which to my knowledge is the best in the industry. The third thing is the increased frequency bandwidth. Frequency bandwidth is important because higher frequencies give you better clarity in speech. And so the Quattro hearing devices actually get you all the way out to 9.6 kilohertz. Even though you probably won't be able to get all of the benefit out of that 9.6 kilohertz, it's really nice to be able to actually adjust the hearing aids out to a higher frequency now than we could before. So we have a better shot of hitting your prescriptive targets. The fourth thing that the Quattro has is a new and improved radio that actually gives you improved signal strength by five decibels. This means that the ear-to-ear -ear communication between the devices on your right ear and your left ear is more efficient, which will help you with spatial awareness and localization cues. The fifth new feature in the Quattro hearing aids is a faster chip. The chip now is 100 times faster than the old chip, and this allows them to process sound much quicker, which in combination with the sixth generation 2.4G Bluetooth antenna, allows them to stream audio with almost no lag time, whether it's coming from a smartphone or whether it's coming from one of Resound's accessories. And the sixth new thing in the Quattro hearing aids, and the thing that I am most excited about as a programmer of hearing aids is the impact noise reduction feature. Previous models of the Resound Lynx devices have not had impact noise reduction. And so if you're a existing hearing aid user, you know that those impact noises can be extremely annoying. If you are someone who is considering treating your hearing loss for the first time, these sounds of you know setting a ceramic cup down on a granite countertop can send a really loud signal through the hearing aids and be very jarring to you. Well, when we activate this feature, we can soften those sounds to where they don't become annoying, they don't become painfully loud or anything like that. So I am extremely happy to now see that Resound has finally done an impact noise reduction feature inside of their Quattro. 
The Lynx Quattro hearing aids still have a lot of the same features that the Lynx 3D devices have. The first one is Resound Assist. Resound Assist is the feature that lets you get your hearing devices remotely adjusted by your hearing care professional when you are in the comfort of your own home. And it's a feature that I use a lot of since I get a lot of patients from all over the place. The Quattro still uses the same Resound Smart 3D app, which is my personal favorite app of all of the apps that exist in the hearing space right now. And the Resound Quattro still has the capability to directly connect with an iPhone. There are, however, a few things that I am not crazy about with the Resound Lynx Quattro hearing devices, and the first one is size. These devices are a little bit on the bigger side because they have that lithium battery inside of them. They have to make them a little bit thicker than a traditional size 312 battery, which is what the Lynx 3D devices are. Now, it depends on how much space that you have behind your ear that will depend on if you can actually use this hearing aid or not. They actually fit behind my ear pretty well. I mean, I can feel it back there very slightly, but if someone had very narrow space back behind their ear, it might be tough to actually get this on and have it be comfortable. And then you have the concern if you have glasses to some degree. Most glasses don't interfere with hearing aids that go behind the ear, but every once in a while, if you get someone with very narrow space behind their ear, it's a very tough thing to do to fit those glasses back there with a really thick hearing aid. And the second thing that bothers me about the Resound Lynx Quattro hearing aids is that they are not yet available to stream directly from an Android device. Now, I understand why Resound would want to release this hearing aid. It does have a lot of improvements over the previous generation, but at the same time, the biggest component of this hearing aid and why everyone is so excited about it is because it's supposed to be able to stream directly from an Android device. Now, I am not a patient guy when it comes to these types of things and I've tried contacting Resound to get someone who can give me some kind of idea when that capability will actually come about and it turns into this situation that they don't know because they basically have to wait for Google to do it so uh, there's nothing that they can tell me. So it's something that I understand why they released it, but at the same time, I really want that feature available for my patients. And I know that individuals are going to be postponing treating their hearing loss because they want to wait for that feature. All right, negatives aside, the Resound Lynx Quattro hearing aid is a pretty impressive device. And when I was doing the review, I was just kind of chuckling to myself thinking, just think about hearing aids five years ago, where they were to where they are now, and it is just light years ahead of where they were just that five years ago. And anytime someone tells me that, oh, well, smartphones are so much more technologically advanced than hearing aids, I'm thinking you have never spent any time with an audio engineer who works with hearing aids because they are advancing to the point where you think that they can't go any further and then Resound goes ahead and releases a hearing aid like this. Just remember, it does not matter how great your hearing aids are or how many features that those hearing aids have if they haven't been programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription using real ear measurement. Now, if you don't know what real ear measurement is, I highly recommend that you watch my video that I will link in the card up here and in the description below. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.